Eight on the D8 is great, mate. Let's go for an alt costume, no alt weapon. Throw ourselves into the gungeon. Because we are, you know, it's been a while, right? Since we played the, the, the convict hunter, hunter. We played the convict the other day. But alas, alas. So smooth, so hip, so cool, so laid back. The hunter's got, the, he's got the dog. Effectively, like, anytime you talk about the hunter, you can really just say, it's the one with the dog. What more do you want? What more do you freaking want out of life? Holy moly. Mother cannoli. I mean, what else could we want? Maybe just uh, alt costumes for the dog? Maybe potential unlockable hats for your dog? You know, maybe maybe that could be something that could be done. How about some mod the gungeon dog costumes? How about that? I guess that's I guess that's what you could want. You know? Is it too much to ask? Maybe. I don't think so. Get on that modding community. Uh, like, new items, new floors, all that cool stuff. Don't at me until there's a hat on my dog. Uh, not even just a hat. A closet for the dog's clothes that I can choose what hats I want on my dog. Until then, quite frankly, don't at me. We got ourselves a key and a green chest. I, You know what? I'm a lazy man in a way, but I got to say, I like opening a green chest right away, and I'm a little bit displeased with my, my result here. Science can it's got some, like, what is up with that? It almost look. I know it's supposed to probably be like a coil or whatever, but it looks almost like it's got a weird glowy intestine thing wrapped around it. The colors are interesting. The colors are interesting, I'll give it that. It's one of those guns where I just, I feel like I haven't had a run where I could really care about it yet. I feel like I haven't had one where I quite can care about it, like, oh, there is somebody behind the chandelier. Genius. Absolute genius. Get out of here. Get out of here. But yeah, I, I like, I often consider certain guns, you know, garbage until I get the flagship run. You know what I'm saying? The, wow, this is <laughs> Key City. It's the, the, the Florida Keys. Holy moly. That's crazy. Uh, I consider, like, a lot of guns, certain guns to be garbage until I get a flagship run where I'm like, I see your value now. I see, I see what you bring to the flipped table. Will we ever get there with Science Cannon? I don't know, but I also don't hate the science ca- Alright! Today's a nice little bit of a cursed run. Where is that? I- uh, mm, uh, mm, Hey! Gotta love it. Gotta love it. You know what? Should we- Nah, I'm gonna say maybe we should fight the boss before we do this. Just in case we get another cursed item or something. But, alas! There's our cursed boss. I mean, this is melting them. But that probably has a lot to do with the fact that we have crazy curse right now. Probably very little to do with the fact that we have the science cannon. <laughs> that being said, I think it might be pretty good for bosses getting both the poison and the fire right on its face at the same time. No, we should have blanked that, but I had to do it just to assert dominance on him. Just to assert dominance on him. Okay. Okay, I was gonna say what is one of my problems with the science cannon is that it has garbage ammo economy however If you give that to me then I don't know man, maybe we can okay. I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna sell that get myself one more key. Do I love it? No, do I like it? No, do I gotta have it? No but we are going to go down to the... I think it's going to be a worthy sacrifice. Sacrificing the crossbow this, so that we can go to the sewers. Seems like an easy decision to me, really, if time's not on the table. And guess what? I'm just... This is the first video I'm recording today. Oh, my God. I just... Oh, no. I pulled the curtain back. I let everybody know I record more than one video a day. Honestly, typically, I don't for Gungeon recently, though. I say that. But for Gungeon, it's really not been the case. This is a problem. You are so fast. So fast. 
All right. For Gungeon, I'm really just like, I'm recording this the day before it goes out. Gasp, he's not record. He's not waking up at 6 a.m. to record it right before he uploads it. Gasp. Unliked, uncommented, unsubscribed. Oh, no. I can't believe I've done this. But yeah, I think maybe we can make the science cannon work a bit because the ammo capacity is definitely a big bummer point with it. Oh, my goodness, golly. But we got some enemies that are immune to poison, so that takes away a little bit of the little value that the item has to begin with. You do have to stay within the zone, auto zone. It's okay. Make it work. Make it work. If we could get an ammo drop, I feel like we could play around with it even more here, but... I like it, I like it. This, I feel like we haven't quite gotten... Okay. Uh, if you say so. Haven't quite gotten a, a run that makes me love the ammo magazine thing either. Hold on, let me just... Oh, it doesn't say. Magazine clip? A ammo magazine? Clipped magazine? Whoop. What do you got for sale? Okay, I mean, we'll probably just get that key, right? Like, right? Seems logical to me. That key, that key, logical to me. So we should be able to throw down... Oh. Throw down this and... No, you can't use it when it's empty. Eh, okay, that is problematic. That is problematic and slightly frustrating. To a <laughs> slightly frustrating to a, a very high degree. Bop him. Alright. Thank you for the key. So now I really do want an ammo drop because, yeah, we can't. Oh my god. We can't utilize it until we get the ammo drop. This is very frustrating, this room here. Especially having to do it with our standard. Yes, we do have curse bullets, but if they're jammed as well, it's hardly that beneficial. Unless we get ourselves another god dang gun. Ah, this sucks. This sucks. This sucks. This sucks. This sucks so bad. Can we try again? It just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. It doesn't work. All right. This is a this is a, a rough situation as of now. Pick this up. If we get hit by two jam shots, we die. Is it worth buying the ammo? I'm just really kind of just crossing my fingers that we just get, you know, a chest soon. And we get a gun that we can, you know, maybe get a little bit more value out of. Just need a, need a run where we, or a room or so where we don't get too many jammed enemies for a bit. And it's not going to be a big deal whatsoever. Ever. Ignore him. Ignore him until we clear the room. There we go. Then you're nothing, man. You're nothing. I see you, chest. I feel like I'm going to just delete all the weaker boys before going for the jam boy. Kind of just, you know, cleanse, cleanse the floor a bit. Cleanse the room. Okay. Weird dodge, but okay. Weird flex, but good dodge. Okay. Get the ones that aren't jammed. Because they're just, you know... They're easier to take less time. We can bop them quite quick. Quite quick with that extra nine curse and the cursed bullets. It's not too bad. But I would love another gun right now. Any moment. Would love a freaking gun. Or just some ammo. But honestly, science cannon, I don't think that it's going to be your flagship run today. A lot of the value of flagship cannon, I think, comes from, in my opinion, the uh, status effects. Which do not get benefited by the, uh, oh my god, uh, by the uh, the damage boost from Curse. Well, we went the wrong way. We could fight the boss, but if he's jammed, I don't think I would die, but I just, you know. Why chance it, I guess, right? That's kind of where I'm at with that. I wanted to throw the gun. Get out of here, you poopy alone. 
What if there was jammed trap rooms? That'd be interesting if there's some trap rooms that only showed up if you had high curse. Be an in interesting way to uh, up the difficulty extra extra. Oh, I hate jammed blobulons. They just move so dang fast. They just move so dang fast. The little suckers are going to be even crazier. So let's see if we can get them stuck. There we go. Trying to just get them stuck on the little uh, little brazier there. Dang. Please, gun. I, you know, I mean, you know. Sorry, I thought that was it. We take those. We take those. We're gonna get money out the wazoo, so I feel like we can afford to do this. That's the nice thing about super high jammed runs. Money out the wazoo. So this should be doing some nice extra damage, not relying on any kind of status effect. Decent enough pushback. Help us out in those situations where we got them jam buckos. Not to mention the fact that we can do this. Uh, just keep them away from us. Not even... Oh, I'm so freaking... Okay, 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 okay. We, we can utilize that for sure. And I'll use it since we got it not from the rat. It is jammed. He be jammed. Okay, laser beam. That's easy rat sack, boys. I'm kind of thinking I want to just blank this, but I think that's unwise. What the what the hell? I tried so hard to use the magazine thing. Oh my god. Bloom. All right, easy fight, easy life. Easy money, easy night. Melted rock, I mean, we can technically carry it. We, in fact, will carry it all the way up here. There we go. Beautiful. Got extreme value out of that. I'll pick up the, sh the shield. I don't know that I want to go to fight. Mr. Old King or not, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. I'm just going to utilize the annoyingness of this best we can. Can we? Alright. Because we might as well, you know, if we can stand in there. Right? Might as well. I like it. I like the cheese here. We got we got the cheese. We got the cheese. We got the cheese. Shoot. I don't know. It just seems this does seem a lot better on this floor when we don't have the enemies that are, you know, immune to poison to the poison. Oh. Ho, ho. I would like a gun that has bullets, though. I must admit. Sorry to be uh, so so specific in Enter the Gungeon here with what guns I want, but I would love it. Okay, you know what? We take those. Oh, I'm, I'm going to get this. If we can go to the rat, we'll go to the rat. If we can go, we'll go. Bundle of wands. I like extra, you know, transmogrification, polymorph. Effects on jammed runs because a lot of times they have a lot of freaking health and turning them into a chicken means that their health don't really matter However, it does also give you the increased likelihood of getting jammed chickens Which suck because if you walk into them It's just a jammed enemy it can be so free with our ammo and I love that Infinite ammo gun while we were in that circle Bop them and run. Bop them and run, boys. Smile and wave, boys. <laughs> we 
Ooh, that was an explosion of money there. We're definitely getting enough for the rat. Haven't done a, this jammed of a run this early in a while. You get loaded, man. You get buku bucks. We almost had enough for the rat already. Can you believe it? Almost walked into a jammed chicken. Bane of my existence. This is the run. We'll, we will watch out the whole run for the jam chickens. I, I feel that now. Okay. Keep on going. But don't move. Well, this is kind of nice. We can set up a little, uh, little fort. Stay out. Boosh. Got him. All right. I'm loving this run. I'm loving this run. Super smooth, super clean right now. A lot of money, big damage, but also the enemies are a bit, a bit spookier, scarier as well. It's just a nice combo. Oh my god, that actually would have been a problem. Big problem. Because we would have spawned Lord of the Jam. I mean, I think we could have handled it, but spawning him this early would be a, uh, it would be a yikes. The only way to get rid of him at that point would to be to drop the cursed bullets because. I think we, I think that would reduce it to one because I, I believe the shrine just puts you at nine. So then dropping, dropping the curse bullets should then put us back down to eight. In theory, in theory, that's how it would happen. All right, we'll put it there. Put her there. Put her there. And we'll get the rat key. Are we gonna go? Uh, maybe, maybe we will. Maybe we will. I'm a little disappointed. I'm a little disappointed right there. Maybe we'll get two keys from here and buy a key from the shop. I don't know. It doesn't seem likely. Jam damn Oconda. Nightmare fuel. No. If I turn you into a jam chicken, I cry. Having a jam chicken just walking around this fight would be... So stressful. Okay. Just don't want him to heal up. The health is extra here, and also the movement speed is a big yikes. I don't know why I even did this. This is going to cause problems. This is going to cause problems. Honestly, the movement speed is definitely my least favorite part about the buff in this fight. But we're all good. No problems here. Throw that up. What's going on over there? We got a... Our numbers broke. <laughs> we broke our numbers, Chief. Ah, uh, sure. And... I guess I'll... Okay, I'll double check what was in here. I was really only looking at the A key. Is there anything else of value? Vorpal is... I, I, I'll be honest. I'm growing to like it. Heart locket is nice. That being said... Where's this stinking area out of here? There it is. Yeah, heart lock. It's you know heart lock. It's fine. You know health is nice. Nothing. No complaints there. He's going to the Abbey of the True Gone. Did you hear? Did you hear? All right. Maybe we get this for a little bit of cheeky moments. Set up, basically setting up little traps there, really. Like that's a, that's really just what that is. It, we're just it's like a trip wire. Kinda. If you don't think about it too hard, it's exactly like a trip wire. Huh. I mean, yeah, like we could just Oh, not a great room for it. Not a great room for it. Get it out of here. Chickify. Chickification. Thank you, dog. Who's a good boy? Who's a good freaking boy? I I mean I I would like to go in, but it's just like it seems stupid. Oh man. Trying so hard. Trying so hard to make make this work smoothly. Oh ho ho. Mimic tooth necklace. We will we'll take it. 
We'll take it. It's kind of does the same general thing as a key. You know? In fact, it's maybe better because we also get the extra mimics from the pedestals, which is very handy. So I'm just going to get that right now. Get that right now. Mimic friendship? If we can. If we can. They work very well together. Don't really like Mimic Friendship on a normal run, but if you have Mimic Tooth Necklace, it just gives you, you know, you, the same thing, but you don't have to fight any Mimics. Which, as far as I'm concerned, is a great thing. Any situation where I oh, can avoid a Mimic, I would like to, you know, if, uh, oh. Because some of them, you know, some of them can get pretty rough. The fights can be <laughs> quite a bit harder than most normal enemies. Not to mention if they get jammed. Could be a yikes. All right, that's our boss. Was there another key for sale? There was. You know what, let's just do it. We're going for it. Going all in. We got the ring of the source for rat. We're not using it. The uh, We don't have the ring. We have the re resourceful rat sack. They're just called Resourceful Sack. Ah, uh, yes. The Resourceful Sack. How could I forget? Oh, we're getting pretty darn lucky with the chickification. I wonder if it scales with coolness. My guess is no, because I feel like I would have been told that by now. It'd be nice, though. I think that'd be fun if, uh, if coolness, coolness was... Uh, Indeed, modifying that. I know it modifies uh, Vorpal Gun's chance to crit. But I believe that's it. Alright, so this should be an unlocked mimic. Oh, don't you dare. Don't you dare throw that in my face, though. I just, it's too... I know it's not late in the run, but it's too late in the run. It's too late in the run to get our first Gun Knight item. It's not... If it happens, I freak out. We're going to the rat. You better believe it. Okay, I don't like this. Oh my god. <laughs> that hurt. That was one of those visceral hits where I felt it in my bones, man. I felt it in my bones. <laughs> and the laser! Okay, weird. <laughs> or we could just go out and, you know, like, actually just get him. Flare gun, we don't have any synergies, so it's kind of like, eh. Gun Knight, though? Not the Gun Knight, though. Jolter's good. Jolter's good. So, we actually... We, if we get a key from the boss, we will use it on the... Brown chest room thing there. Because why not, I guess? Oh... Boy. This isn't great. This is not a great setup. And he is jammed. Big yikes. Not a fan. We could probably roll through and get all those. I mean, the, res the resourceful sack can end up being pretty valuable here, I would imagine. Things are going okay. But I just really don't want to be using a sh... Shotgun! Shotgun! But it's kind of our best thing. So we just want to stay generally in range right here if we can. I got greedy. I'll admit it. I'll be the first to admit it. This is going to be a bit more accurate. So for far away, might as well use this shotgun. I don't know. I think we, we should try to maybe dodge roll through the sphere. 
so freaking dangerous. Oh. Not a good idea. Not a good idea, but we're going to be completely fine. Whoo! Not even close to a problem, my friend. Not even close to a problem. Jam the old king who? I mean, we will take it because we can sell it. He's got it hidden behind here. Crestfallen. Not bad. Not bad. Not killer, but... I think we're out of here. We don't have any blanks to look for the second secret room. It's fine. On the way. Mr. Rats. All right. We're going to Mr. Rats Wild Ride. Oops. This is the jetpack, not the magazine. Oop. And then I oop. Okay. Fair enough. It's a massacre. It's a it's a chickification massacre. Ooh. Keep our eyes out for the rat room. For the rat room, Asian. Shouldn't just blindly do this. Did it on purpose? Uh. No! There's one more chance. Okay, that's fine. I should be a little bit more patient, but on okay, honestly. This reward is uh, quite, quite nice. Probably our best weapon now. Noise. If only standing on the magazine thing. Okay. Probably get that actually. Made it so we didn't have to reload. That would be a, another story altogether. We would just have the most OP run in gosh darned history. Don't tell me this room is the rat one. That'd be kind of stinky. God, we're killing it. Killing it. Oh, he took it like a champ. This jammed boys. Give me silver bullets. Get me Peter Parker. Okay, two, two for the blue jam, one for the blue boy. Regular blue, no jam. Blue hold the jam? We haven't asked and, or answered any uh, the Discord questions that you asked yet, so if you want to ask any, link in the description for that. Ninja Gun asked if you had to guess how many Gungeon runs do you think you've done total the entire time you played Gungeon? Uh, I would wager... Oh, it's probably gone to be about a thousand now, because I have... I have 988 hours in the game. And factoring in like menuing, but also factoring in that a lot of my earlier runs were short and, you know, runs to just going to the uh, the past and everything being quite a bit sh shorter. I would say that, uh, yeah, I think I think it, it'd be quite a bit less. Okay, so there's no, no use to steal on this run. No use to steal on this run. I'm not going to... Not going to bring the Lord of the Jammed in here. And quite frankly, that's pretty much mostly what I use the smoke bombs item for. It's probably, it is probably better than the jetpack I, on reflection, but eh. Not much better. Not much better. There's some situation. I mean, we can use, we should have used the jetpack for the Winchester game. Oh, man. I forgot we even had it. I, I'll be honest. When I get such a garbage active item like that, I just don't think about it. I mean, it's not that it's even garbage. It's it's just so situational. So situational. Yeah. 
Oh my god. Oh, he, he juked me. He juked me. You got me good. Jetpack. Get it up. Get it rad. Let's get rad, boys. God, the sunglasses on him. We are missing a blank. But we have a bajillion shields, so it's not going to be a problem. Actually... We have so much money, it doesn't even matter either. All right. Oh my god, we get it. That's right. We got the utility belt now, too. Oh my god. We have so many active item slots. I meant to put on the jetpack. Meant to put on the jetpack. Look at this dog. Oh, can't get him to do it again. All right. We actually have some more floor to do. So fast! Zipping around at the speed of sound. Okay. We could just also just walk. Jammed rat! Why do they do damage? Why do they have to do damage? Hook. Oh my god. This is a bad run. This is a bad run all of a sudden. All of a sudden I hate everything. I hate everything now. I feel like we shouldn't be using that when we're in the middle of this fight. We just had to, like, honestly we had a better showing against the old freaking king. That's sad. Sad, sad, sad. I think I'm going to get rid of the jetpack. I know that it doesn't make a lot of sense to just literally throw away an item like that, but just having an extra item to switch between is kind of not my favorite thing right now. All right. Did our best. Did our best. Did our best. Whoop. Whoop. Give me your balls. Ball. Angry bullets. Angory bullets. Hmm. 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 I like how they work with bundle of wands. I guess we can hold on to jetpack until the fourth floor. I mean, it's it's uh it's coming right up. Might as well, right? Can sell it, get extra money. Not that that's really been a problem on this run, but that's okay. Just because something's not a problem doesn't mean it uh, won't be. Going in. Up, up, down, right, down, up, 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 down, right, down, up. Okay. Hate that room. That one is probably the. Uh, Chunkiest room on this whole floor. More annoying than the rat. I mean, that might be a bit extreme, but it's pretty annoying. Up, up, down, right. Yeah, I love the chaos that ensues with this, though. And the angry bullets. Get mass chickification AoE. That was a god tier table flip. Down, up. Avoid the jammed chicken. Oh my god! Oh my god! The jammed ones, you just can't see the jammed ones at all. When they're all chasing you down like that. Oh my gosh, I'm a man. Alright. 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 Push skin, we'll just pop on in there. Put that bad boy on. Pretty soon, honestly. Like, if we do it right here, we'll inflict quite a bit of damage. And what are you shooting, man? What are you shooting, man? 
Hope oh, we can get through this without damage. That'd be nice. Oh, that was tight. Oh, my God. Tight as in, like, it was... Oh, my God. Close. Not tight as in... Tight, dog. Tight. Does that... Uh, do kids say that? That it was tight, dog. Lit and tight, dog. Oh, no. We don't have the DJM synergy. Please give me my blood skin. All right, you ready? You ready? Three, two, one, go. Reflect them all. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I don't know what I'm doing with this. Shoot. Uh, you know what? Hell yeah, jetpack. Prove your worth. Test your might. Just look at me cycling through all my items. Like I'm paying attention or something. I know I got the lead skin, but I feel like we can get more value out of it at another phase. This one I've just cut kind of down to muscle memory. Considering doing it here, which is sad. Maybe if he does another attack while well, they're still out here. Nope. Ain't worth it. This is worth it, though. This is worth it. I just, I just suck at dodging that one. We should really be putting down the uh, the magazine rack when we got the potion of lead skin on. Just kind of a no-brainer. Did I just get hit by a jammed rat? Did I just get hit by a jammed rat? Oh my god. This is the jammed rat chronicles. Does a jammed rat end my streak? More at 11. Honestly, like... If there's any chance... Any run where it could uh could happen. It could it could make sense today. Alright, I'm just being so greedy. Yeah. Oh. I ain't worried. I ain't worried, muchacho. Oh, the heck blaster. That's actually amazing on this run. That's right. That's right, he greedy. He greedy, but it works. Yeet! Get out of here. Sit yourself down on the wall. And he explodes. I love how he explodes, too. Turtle problem. Turtle problem. That's a big yes from me. And a big shotgun as well. So I'm going to open up all the chests because I don't think we should get the same. Oh, hello. Rip. Forgot about that. I mean, I was gonna—I have enough keys to open them all up anyway. It don't really matter. There we go. That's what I was looking for. And now we're really fast. Yo. Oh. Oh my god. Somebody stop him. Somebody stop him. The turtle. Do you see how fast that turtle went? Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehogian. Oh, oh boy. Waffle asks if you had to create a synergy between two already existing items, what would they be? Wait. What items would be used and what would they do? Uh, you know what? I would make a synergy between Amulet of the Pit Lord and Casey and call it the Banger Supreme synergy. And I think it would make it so <laughs> whenever you jump into, I don't know, whenever you jump into a pit, I don't know. It whenever you take damn no, 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 no. It this is weird. This would be weird, but it would be whenever you jump into a pit, you gain a little bit of damage. However, you would definitely have to remove the invincibility. This is something that would never exist. You'd have to remove the invincibility from the uh, 
from the Amulet Pit Lord, obviously. It's an interesting idea, though. Jam chicken jammed rat. Jam chicken jam rat. That's what it was. On, that's what it was on the the rat fight. Not a not a jam the rat. It would be a jam chicken. It's weird that these need keys still, but it, it's true. It's true they do. What's the synergy? Firing with flares with the green fire. It is the green fire. I mean, it's a good one. It's a good one. Don't get me wrong. It's just so many good freaking weapons. It's insane. Eat him. Freeze him and eat him. Do, 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 do. What up? Ah! Trying too hard to eat the enemies. Did that shot go. Did the shot. Oh my god. Angry bullets. Angry bullets are making me angry. None of that's anything I'm interested in. That alone, like, that, I mean, that sucks, you know? That, the fact that they're bouncing off like that. Who? Before they explode? Because, like, the explosion's what's doing all the damage. It's just... Man! Why gotta do that to me? Why gotta do me dirty like that? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm gonna stretch. And I'll, I guess I'll use this time to say subscribe for daily to the gadget videos. Ugh, sorry, that's just what, uh, this is what comes out when I stretch. It's weird. I, <laughs> I should probably take off the jetpack. Jam chicken. You jam chicken. Oh my god. Does my streak end to a jam chicken today? I am. S I'm just like not paying attention. I I, I even paid it like attention to the fact that it happened on that one. Oh my god! He just waddled his way down. Waddle waddle, till the very next day he ended my streak. Who? Oh no, turtle down? No, he the turtle took that one like a champion. Jam chicken, watch out! Watch out for the jam chicken. Okay, okay. Oh, nightmare fuel. Probably should use a different gun, but it's just—it's so functional and it works so well. It's not hindered by anything with uh, with angry bullets. In fact, it's made better by angry bullets. So it's just like. I'm feeling so conflicted. Maybe we could just stop taking damage from jammed, jammed chickens. Is maybe, maybe just maybe a, the better idea. Watch out for the jammed chicken. Jammed chicken. Get. Two jammed chickens. No, <laughs> get out of here. Get out of here. Try to save that for later. Look at how fast these two. Oh! <sighs> we, we don't deserve the speed. We can't handle the speed. We're gonna die. Alright, 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 alright. So I kind of want to walk in and throw this down. All right. Ooh, this is slick. I want to save the turtle so bad, but I don't know that it's going to be possible. Huh! Huh! No! Oh! All the turtles. Oh, we have one left. We got one left. 
I'm gonna sell angry bullets. I just... It just makes too many of our items that would otherwise be good bad. And at this point, we've sold two things. We might as well just do the full freaking suite, right? Might as well. All right, all right. We sold the angry boats. That changes a lot. We can actually use the big shotgun and have it not be garbage now. You gotta be careful about the massive knockback it has, but still. Who did we just eat? Okay, that, that, yeah, that guy. Cactus don't count, even though he's tall. He ain't a shotgun. Uh. Next. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm kind of missing the, the magic the magic wand bundle. The bundle of wands. But I'm tentative. I feel like I haven't earned it. Why did I take damage there? Slow bullet. Maybe. Yeah, I'm, miss I'm missing it. I feel like... A lot of the damage of this comes from the explosion, and it's just not carrying over. I feel like I'm... All right. Against my better judgment, we're going back to the magic bundle of wands. Jam chicken. I see you there. It takes so many hits. Note the jam chicken. No. <laughs> I have my turtle problem to save me. They're running through. They collided. Okay, that's fine. We can't come back for that. Oh, that was satisfying. Although, we did turn him into an even more frightening enemy. Unfortunately for us. Honestly, we should maybe even be rolling with this. It's the safest. It's a little bit less damaging than some of our other stuff. Got to DJM that chicken right quick. A little bit less damage than some of our other stuff, but it's also just, it's so safe. The jam. Um. Oh. Um, um, why? I just, I know exactly what I'm going to use. The highest DPS in the game, probably, right here. Just a lead potion so we know when it's out. All right. Whoop. Weird run for active items. Just a lot of interesting things happening. Oh. Get there. I don't know why. I put a potion let's get on myself for good measure. In the corner. I feel like I want to use this a little bit. The damage it does is just wacky, wacky strong right now. From all that curse. Whoop. All right. All jokes aside, I think we got this run relatively locked and loaded. I would, I would hope. But uh, that chicken, you know, I've taken way more damage than I think I ever have, and that is disheartening. Kind of want to switch back to the, the jammer. Heck, blaster. Damage master. Whoa. Yeah, you're one shot bops all around. Can we get a hell yeah in chat? Hey, the comments. Can we get a hell yeah? 
Heck yeah, if you're nervous. Oh. Oh. Alright. We going... Oh, we got the Cat Claw, too. When did we get the Cat Claw? Did we get that from... Uh... We get that from the boss last floor? Weird. Don't remember at all. I feel like I should know that. It's been a long run. We've been getting a lot of stuff. We also have this we haven't used. Which plus the magazine rack is a big yes. Not a problem. Kind of interesting. It, it really would tie it into a like a minigun gun theme from a lot of other games where they say like, okay, well you had to give me a chicken. Chicken fights back. Good versus evil. Who will win? Should I really give myself yet another active item to juggle? I feel like I probably shouldn't. I feel like it makes no sense. I'm not going to get massive use out of it. Shoot. Save our magazine rack for a, a rainy room. There we go. So you got to come over here. The fools. They fools. Get my bundle of wands like ready in the background. So maybe we can use the magazine rack on guns that have zero ammo as long as No, no. If they have zero, they are they got zero. Maybe it was causing too many problems. Maybe it's causing too many problems. Get gong get. Good morning. Okay. I don't know why like I put myself in danger for that key effectively. Big dumb. They could just like hide behind the wall, you know? The fools. The absolute fools. That was pretty slick. That was pretty freaking slick right there. I'm playing some Super Animal Royale. Oh, GD morning. <laughs> that game is so... It's, it's, it's dumb how good that game is. But it is. It's a good game. <laughs> Alright. Spread it, spread it, spread it. You know what? Okay, I was ready to face my demon, but we don't have any ammo in that. I'll face my demons once more if we do get the ammo. Okay, seems like an optimal room for it. We can get the big boy in the next phase, right? Just keep pushing him into the pit, maybe? Okay, almost out. So I feel like if we want to use it, we should... Save that. How are we having ammo issues on this run? When we started with the magazine rack, we're having uh, ammo issues like crazy. Whoop. I guess it's hard to say that we're having crazy ammo issues when we have a lot of guns with ammo. It's just we have ammo issues in the guns that we really want to use. But I guess it's because they're not the most ammo efficient weaponry, I guess. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Random shout out, if you are not in the Discord yet, feel free to join. We've got a channel in there, especially if you're new to Gungeon or you're not new to Gungeon, you wanna just share what's going on in your runs, share like you get help, get tip give tips. Got a friendly, helpful channel in the Discord with the link in the description. If you are using the online client, the web-based client, you do have to create an account first before you before you join. I know a lot of people have been coming to me saying that they haven't been able to get in. So consider, you know, the fact that maybe you need to, you, I, you might need to create an account first and log in. And log in first. Whoop. 
if you're doing it with through the web client or whatever by clicking the clicking the link. Boop, boop, boop. But it's good place. Good place. What are we wanting to use today? Just got so many options. Ooh. Ooh, I forgot about this. Even between the two things, I don't think it quite makes it good. But hey. That's just a theory. No, hey, that's just, uh, you know. It's just fine. Infinite ammo with it is going to be kind of interesting. You'd think it'd be better than anything else we've got if it's two guns strapped together, right? Is that the case, though? Yeah, I don't know. Remains to be seen. Hup. Okay, put it down where we can safely sit. I like this. I like we got we got a nice little combo. Ooh. Oh, we have potion. Let's get on. Nice little combo of active items that function quite well for boss scenarios. That was really risky because we did not have potion. Let's get. I just I just sat there and let it breeze between my booty cheeks. We don't have anything that can break bullets. We do have the resourceful sack. To do Buku damage here. Should we do it? Should we try to do it with this gun? And not quite. It's two guns and the resourceful sack. And you can't, still can't even do a one cycle. Can we talk about that? Can we talk about that? I mean, it's fair because Brick Breaker's not really meant to be used in that way as one of the guns. Tetrominator, it just, it's not very good. That's just that. That that one, it's easy. It's just not a very good gun. I don't know how much ammo it has as a max. All right, we're doing it. We're going to fight our, our big boss. We're going to fight big boss jam chicken. One three three seven, aka Elite. What do you think of the first Pacific Rim and Jenner and giant monster movies in general? I actually have not seen any Pacific Rim movies, and I haven't, I haven't seen a lot of giant monster movies. However, fun tidbit about uh, giant monster games. Whoop. Well, one first of all, I I really like Rampage World Tour, but after that, um, the very first. Let's let's call it a let's play. The very first let's play I ever did. Me sitting down and recording myself playing a video game and talking over it was uh, Godzilla for destroy uh, Godzilla destroy all monsters. I don't know. Whatever that game and my first let's play was when that game came out and I was a kid and I I, I was a young. I don't know how old I was. I was young, but like right when it came out. I recorded myself playing it, and I there I have the footage of it somewhere, and it is outrageously, outrageously annoying, and as the as the kids these days say, I believe it's cringe. But it exists and it's out there somewhere, I, I'm sure. Oh, it's out there somewhere. It's the very first Let's Play. And I'm locking it behind a Patreon paywall. No, I'm not going to release it anywhere. At least... I mean, I, I guess I'd have to find it first. But I think it... I think it exists. At my parents' house somewhere. I'd have to go... Go find out. But... It was just me playing and I... Just saying... I feel like I was saying the same thing over and over. So, I mean, honestly, what's different? Banger, banger, banger. You know, but... Uh, uh, still, it was, you know, it was, a, it was a child. Plus a child. So I imagine it was quite, quite bad. I, I remember I watched it like a, 
like three years three years ago or something two or three years ago I, I I know it existed then so I imagine I imagine it still does and has not been thrown to the trash hook auctioning it off starting at one million dollars uh, speaking of selling out <laughs> speaking of selling out I know I've done this more, more than I, I normally do this episode, but it's a, it's a long one. Oh my god, it's we're already at an hour and we're not even fighting the lich yet. It's a long one, but I I have added a new tier to my Patreon that I just want thought would be really relevant to say in the, the Gungeon Gungeon videos. There's a new tier, like there's obviously the ones that exist right now, which are you know getting special stuff for the Discord. Getting your name in the description, putting your name on a list of character like randomized characters, so that you get shouted out, you know, in in other series. But I did add a new tier where I'm going to be doing a little bit of a shout out at the end of every Gungeon episode when we do the credits, when I'm doing my little my little spiel at the end. So I thought that'd be worth shouting out right now. If you if you want to get a shout out at the end of every Gungeon episode, you can check out the various tiers on patreon.com slash retromation uh, sorry uh, sorry <coughs> there the shield's gone shield's gone he's out he's out sellout's gone I've, I vomited I vomited him out toxin's gone the host has left the, <laughs> the parasite has left the host but that's true everything I said is true you can go check it out if you want and if you don't want to check it out please don't <laughs> more power to you thank you for watching Always going to be free. Whoop. Boy, oh boy. Look at this turtle posse, baby. We got... We've, we've been keeping a lot of them alive. This floor has been kind of autopilot. I haven't run into a single jam chicken. Yet. Probably, uh... Probably shouldn't say it now, but... I have not run into a single jam chicken yet. Oh my god! It exploded on him and he didn't even care! I just honestly frankly I'm gonna not I'm not gonna go back and kill him. He can just he can just survive as far as far as I care. Like it's like a cockroach when a nuke nuke drops. They don't care. Probably not going to be too believable that uh, this is a, a, a streak ender run when you see the time is an hour and hour and ten minutes, right? However, may, maybe we can convince somebody. Maybe we can convince somebody that it's like I lost my streak and then I went and I played another run or something. I doubt it, but maybe. I do. I do love to to play around with that. Like I don't, but I'm af I'm afraid of getting into clickbait territory. But I am. I love playing around with with uh, the idea because it just it's like it's kind of like the little jokes that I get to make when I'm doing my my thumbnails and my titling and stuff, like doing what I can to try to make you think that I could have died. Because I know for a lot of people, like, oh my god, the jam chicken almost got me. The one that I let live, the boy who lived. Why are they? Why are they such a persistent theme throughout this run? That is crazy. Jam chicken ends my streak. Jam chicken? Streak ender? Maybe maybe we can get somebody to believe it. Maybe we can get somebody. I, I kind of doubt it. But you know what? If you got to this point in the video... Like, to just... Tr I, I have no idea how to could make it convincing, but try to get people to believe in the comments that... I died to a jam chicken. Do your best to make it believable. Like I, but I don't know, man. I think that it's a lost cause. This is an hour. It's an hour and ten minute video. Whoop. Whoop. It's pretty much uh, yeah. It's pretty much been a one run since I. You know, like it, it was kind of risky. We were in a risky situation, sort of on um. What you call it? On the sewers. But after, ever since then, it's just been nothing. You know, like, no problems. 
No problemo whatsoever. We got down to what? A heart and a half or two hearts? Was definitely the most perilous situation of the whole run. Oh my god! Look at all them turtles. And we, I can't believe we actually... We, we got our own chicken too. You joined our side. Oh no. There goes the turtles. Potion, let's get... Counting on you. Okay. This is a really nice combo. This is probably my favorite usage of magazine rack I've ever had. Having it with the uh, with the RC rocket. Because really the problem with the this gun is just its ammo economy. It's not great. And it's not even bad, but this makes it so it's amazing, you know? Like, who even cares at this point? Never gonna run out. Never got to ever surrender. Magazine rack, put it down. Then we can do the gun drop. Guarantee we're at the boss damage cap if we haven't been already for 20 minutes. All right, hell yeah. We did it. Bada bing, bada boot. See ya. What a hoot. But that has been Enter the Gungeon. Thank you everybody for watching. Subscribe for daily Enter the Gungeon videos. Follow on twitch.tv slash retromation to catch me streaming games live. And join the Discord to get notified of major announcements and to ask questions that will be answered in the video. And if you're feeling crazy, you can support on Patreon dot com slash retromation and I will put your name right here where I'm talking right now where everybody can hear. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.